racism. It's real. Man, it's real. You turn the corner and everybody around that corner could be a racist. You just never know. Racism is a terrible, terrible thing that's going on, not just in the country, but around the world. People look down upon another people because they see them as different. Uh, you know, people, people think that you're born racist. You're not. You're not born racist. You're taught it. Growing up, you are taught <clears throat> to be a racist. And people are like, oh, no, no, I was born a racist. No, no, you are taught this. Everybody has the potential in their being of being a racist. Like, <clears throat> I, I could be racist, you would never know. You know, you go around and people are either subconscious about it or they're outright about it. it doesn't matter what you say or what you do, if it has anything to do with another man's skin or another man's religion, bad thing. Like, if you go out and tell a racist joke, it's, it's the, one of the biggest things people say. Yeah, it's funny, but what about what about your friend that you told about it in the corner or in your group or whatever? How do you think he feels? It's not a good thing. Most people don't know the definition of racism. According to Merriam-Webster, it is a belief that race is the primary determinant of human traits and capacities and that racial differences produce an inherent superiority of a particular race. Now, there is only one race. We are all the human race. All homo sapiens are human races. Now, you look down upon another man because, or another woman because, of skin color, what they believe in, what they do, or their ideologies. That's not a good thing to do. You, you judge this man because he's black. Oh, he must like this, this, and this. When in reality, he could like... Most people say black people like fried chicken, right? He could be a vegan. After all these years, there are still groups formulated around hate towards another people. If it ain't white, it ain't right. Say what's that? Talk about the KKK. People are like, well, and these are the people that really don't know anything about the subject of sex. Well, the Black Panthers, these Black Lives Matter movement is just like KKK. How? How? KKK is a hate movement. Yeah, the Black Panthers had some hate in them. That's because they had a reason. There's a reason behind it. His weapon was already Same drawn, black. he got out the car, he shot again, and once my friend felt that it's shot, terrible. he turned around it's and he put his hands in the earth, and he started to get down. <clears throat> One of the more well-known acts of this act is police brutality against black people. It's been on the rise in the past two years, even though it's been around forever. Uh, let's see. Between 2008 and 2012, 77% of people killed by officers were men. Now, and <clears throat> some people will say, oh, it's, it's almost even. It's like, it is, it's kind of even if you think about it. But it's still more blacks killed than whites. I don't, people keep trying to say that more whites are killed by cops than whites. That is wrong. 51.1% were black. 46.3 were white. <clears throat> that leaves 2.6 percent. I'm sorry, of a different race. And over 130 victims were unknown. Now, that doesn't show a lot, but you see it swirling everywhere. You don't. Some some of those people might have been armed. Some of those people might have been armed. But you see it on TV. You see it on Twitter, Instagram. Sometimes on Snapchat. You see it everywhere in the media that another armed, unarmed black man was killed by a white officer. Not all cops are bad. Don't don't quote me saying that cops are bad. Not all cops are bad. My uncle's a cop. Not all cops are bad. You have those bad eggs, but you're not calling them out on it. You wanna you wanna so bad to protect your reputation as an officer or your reputation as this or that to call out somebody. 
Trayvon Martin was killed, people praised George Zimmerman for walking down the street in the hoodie with some skills and a team. Sandra Bland, she was killed before her mugshot was even taken. You can tell by the picture. Mike Brown, yeah, he might have tried to run away, but when he turned around, he had no weapon. He put his hands up, he got shot. The cop already had his gun locked and loaded, ready to go. There's many more. Philando Castile, Alton Sterling. People are getting killed for no reason. Is it because of the way they look? Is it because of how shady they look? Now, I wrote a poem a while back. I'm going to recite it. Blows my mind that this is the world that we live in still. You're supposed to protect and serve, not to be licensed to kill. I can't believe it since people are in a body bag. I don't want to wake up and see my brother. But not all are bad. Rosa Burke said it best. If you can't admit that it's wrong, how are you going to fix the mess? Fix the mess when you see people as people. Seeing one, not one man above the age. Seeing it all as Something is wrong. You know that we don't see it. But nothing is done about it because some people just don't. He shot again, and once my friend felt that shot, now that he turns around, he put his hands in the earth, put the blame, and he started to get down. But the officer still oh, he could have just been following the law, or oh, he could have been doing this. He should have done that. Okay, what if they were following the law? Alton Sterling was just standing there. Eric Garner, yeah, he might have been doing something illegal, but hey, you don't have to choke him to death. Stupid. Philando Castile was pulling out his ID. He even told the officer that he had a gun on him. And it was licensed to him. He even had the license on him. He was just going to get his license and he gets shot. With his kid in the back seat, nonetheless. You're, you're going after these people because you see them as different and you see them as a threat. When in all, in all reality, they're just people. And now we'll go to some testimonies about people on campus about racism and if they've had anything affected to them. What is racism to me? Racism to me is an individual or a group of individuals who have their own select opinion and views, which is perfectly fine to have. It's just when they begin to express those views and opinions negatively. And I'm all for like freedom of expression, that's fine, but it's almost like where do you draw the line of what's appropriate, what's gonna benefit everyone else instead of just you or those group of people. So I think that's what racism means to me. Um, racism to me, uh, kind of nowadays has uh, evolved from kind of the blatantness that it used to be in earlier times to now of suggestiveness and passive aggressiveness, maybe forms of microaggressions. I have actually, unfortunately. On campus? Yes. I have had experienced it during the time in which uh, some people came on campus and they were spewing derogatory words and language that was very blatant and then tried to imply certain things about me and about my entire race of people that was not necessarily true. Physically, uh if it turns into an altercation, then yes, it can get very physical and very, very ugly, very, very quickly. Uh, mentally, for sure, it can have, for real, some mental side effects. Uh, for example, it can affect your intrinsic motivation, which is like what motivates you on the inside for yourself, because when you have everyone coming at you with all these negative views and opinions about you personally, then you're just like, what's the point of even trying to? You don't feel you don't feel that motivation within yourself to try to be anything else than what they've been telling you. 
it does affect you in uh, both ways. Uh, mentally, it can change your state into maybe feeling like you're more targeted or feel like that type of person is just more racist than another. Uh, that can happen, even though it's not necessarily true. And physically, you do have a change in certain levels. You might feel uh, a rush of adrenaline for some people. Other people, they may feel fear. Um, for me, I, I don't feel nothing as much as uh, just wonder in why this is happening. As you can see, it is very evident on our campus that people are affected by it and that it happens all over campus. You, you don't notice it because you just don't want to.